Rain is a natural part of life in the Pacific Northwest. But when a heavy storm falls, it can cause unexpected surprises in the form of water pooling around homes and sometimes inside them. We moved here in 2017. It was the year where it was excessively heavy rains. And we came home one day and I walked down in the basement and took a step off the step and it was splash. There are a few ways to help when a flooding problem like this happens. A beautiful and practical solution can be a rain garden. These homeowners created one to help with flooding and found that it worked to fulfill even more needs. Because it mitigated the amount of water coming off the alley and channeled it into something that could be utilized by both the city as clean storm water and it took the water away from our basement. The water that runs off streets, yards and driveways flows directly, untreated, into local waterways. A rain garden collects rainwater runoff allowing the water to be filtered by vegetation, screening out pollutants before the water enters a storm drain. The roof water comes off and goes into two cisterns, and then the rest of the water from the alley goes down the side of the house and collects in the rain garden. So the idea is that when the water comes off, the overflow from the cisterns will go into the rain garden, and all of the water from the alley will be going into the rain garden. And the idea is that it becomes a temporary pond and gives the water time to infiltrate. The beginning of this rain garden project started with a call to the city's environmental services department and led to other organizations stepping in to offer guidance. It was a team approach and they gave us such excellent information that was doable for us. We could wrap our heads around it. From that collaboration, steps came together to start putting this garden in place. We had the conservation district come out and we did an infiltration test at the side of the garden. And then they put us in touch with the master gardeners as well. We started looking at what is the design of a rain garden, how big can it be, what needs to be in the rain garden, what kinds of plants. That's where I bought all the supplies. I was in charge of that and my sister Deb was able to basically do project management. Like we went out there and we marked out the space and then we found people, volunteer and casual labor to start digging. These homeowners also applied for the Make a Splash grant. The city's environmental services department awards these reimbursable grants for projects that have a strong stormwater message, benefit or educational aspect. It's an excellent program. I would recommend it to any of the homeowners in the area that are thinking about managing their water because it's so great for the environment. Make a Splash has a maximum award amount of up to $4,000. Anyone within Tacoma city limits is welcome to apply. Applications are accepted May 1st through May 31st. When we actually received the grant, we were so excited. It's helped us tremendously in the house in terms of not having flooding. This project and the Make a Splash grant brought out an unexpected focus on the Puget Sound. My attention really wasn't on the Puget Sound and so we got to manage and know that we weren't gonna have a flooded basement, build a beautiful garden and know that we were returning clean water to the Puget Sound. That's a win, win, win.